Start by placing your base cabinets. Then before fastening the wall cabinets on the end, construct the toe kick frame that will support them. Remember to construct the toe kick frame about 3 inches less than the overall cabinet size on all three sides, so the toe kick will be recessed when the wall cabinets are placed on the frame. Attach the wall cabinets back about a quarter of an inch from the base cabinet face frame. And then cut and fit a quarter inch wall end panel so that it flushes the wall cabinet to the face frame. One tip here is to take a scrap of the quarter inch material to use as a gauge when you install the wall cabinet with the quarter inch setback. Then apply a decorative end panel on top. Make sure to align the decorative end panel with the doors or drawers to the adjacent cabinet. You can optionally treat the other end of the wall cabinet using this same technique. You will need to apply the quarter inch paneling all the way around the cabinet and then cover the raw plywood ends by cutting and fitting a piece of scribe molding. Finally, you will need to finish the back of your island with the 48 inch by quarter inch paneling. This creates another fashionable island that has self-supporting overhang for the bar. This is a picture of an actual kitchen using this concept. Here's another example of other ways to use these wall cabinets on an island. This design wraps two wall cabinets around the end of the island. In this design, we've used wall cabinets to create an end for the peninsula. And once again, this supports the countertop on the backside. 